Sorry, um, have we started? I, oh, I'm just really enjoying my book. I, di I didn't realise we'd begun. Okay, um, let me think. So this week we are talking all about people who help us. That's right, isn't it? Okay, well listen, today I want to think a little bit about people who might have helped us that we might have forgotten. And I might be able to use my book actually, because I sat here now reading this book, really enjoying it. And I did it all by myself, didn't I? I didn't need anyone to help me. Is that right? Well, not quite. Let's think about it a bit. So once upon a time, I couldn't read at all. I was quite young then. So who helped me? Well, I remember my teacher in my first reception class. She helped me, Mrs. Selvin. She helped me to get my feet off the bottom of the pool with reading. So she supported me. And then my mum and dad, they used to read with me at home. They used to read to me and they used to hear me read. They definitely helped me. And then my teachers, as I went through my primary school and then at secondary school as well, I was helped by lots of people to learn to read and to enjoy books. And maybe that's one of the reasons that I'm still reading now. Now, if we want to take it a little bit further, who else might have helped me? Well, the person who wrote the book, they sort of helped. If they hadn't written the book, there wouldn't be a book to read. Didn't think about that. What about the people who made the paper that the book's out of? Or the person who invented paper? If they hadn't done that, we wouldn't have books to read. What about the people who invented the English language and being able to write it down in the first place? I mean, if we hadn't turned the no noises that are our words into words that we could write and words that we could read, we wouldn't have books. So maybe when you think about something quite simple, there's actually lots and lots of people who've helped in it. Maybe we never do anything completely by ourselves. Now, I want to show you a little quote that I quite like. I don't know what you can see here. It says, standing on the shoulder of giants. And actually, most of the things that we do in life, we're standing on the shoulder of giants. Not real giants, but people who've had giant ideas in the past. The people who invented paper. The people who turned sounds into words that you could write. The people that spent their lives writing books. And the people who spend their time helping us to learn to read them. They're just a few of the giants. And we're all stood on the shoulders of giants in all sorts of ways. We all rely on the people who came before us and the people who are around us now to keep doing great things. So that's my little thought for the day about people who help us. I'm going to have to carry on and finish this. So if you don't mind, I'm going to say goodbye. Bye.